And we're back. You already know what it is. The recap with the good yeah, yeah. fellas. You know how we do every week, breaking it down with all the latest stuff. Everything that went down in the week, we're here talking about it. You know how we do. It's your boy, Tommy Guns. And then like my man, Big A, right there. Holla at him, Big A. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Big A. Glad to be here. Glad to be amongst my brothers. All right, we got Dad, the photographer. Yo, what's good? What's good? Let's get it. We got Shah Murder, a.k.a. Shah Doomsday, or Shah Montana, what, what, whatever. What, which, what name is it, officially? Shah Hendrix Montana. Shah Hendrix Montana. You heard it here first on the recap. And then we got Heritage Hip Hop's own Karev in the building. What's going on? Peace and blessings, y'all. Salute. All right. All right. And like I said, you know how we do every week, breaking it down, recapping the best of everything, whether it's popular culture, music, politics, life. It's the good fellas, and we're here for y'all. Shout out to everybody. However you're watching us, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, however you're watching us, we appreciate you guys tuning in. And with that being said, it's been a crazy week. First thing first, RIP. Chadwick Bozeman, yo, I feel like life took a major L this week. How do y'all feeling about it? Yo, man, that yo, first off, uh, had to had to get it with the with the condo forever. Yo, that forever. that was, yo, that was wild, man. Because the, the more and more you hear about it, nobody knew this man was sick. He's filming Avengers. He's filming like that dude was a trooper, man. Ah. For him to just die like that, like that's crazy. That one hit. Word. Word. Family emergency. I'll be right back. What's crazy oh. is, from what I was reading, like, like literally, uh, Dad, the photographer, brought up a good point. Nobody knew that, that, that this cat was really sick, other than his immediate family, of course, to the point yeah. where Marvel, what? You know what I mean? And what I found especially crazy is that this man's body of work, like, yo, the work he put in while he was sick, Black Panther 2, uh, the James Brown movie, what, what, what's it, like, five, five bl- yeah, the five, and, and uh, uh, that 21, five, the five, yeah, the five, that's right, that was the one, the, the, the last five one, I still got his, yo, he did this while he was sick. He, like, holding cancer crazy and you could tell in the five bloods trailer that he was thinner but i thought it was i thought because i had heard those rumors like i saw and this is crazy about social media there are people making fun of this dude when he was yeah. thin, talking about some all like making jokes about him and i'm like dag like i wonder if it, if he was sick then i saw the trailer for the five five bloods i think it's called or whatever uh-huh. and i was like okay he lost it for this role but then now you kind of find out that he died. I was like, oh, no, he was sick for real, for real, and still making movies, man. Word. And he made some good movies. Like, he made – he played, like, all the classics. He <laughs> had James Brown, Jack yeah. Robinson, Thurgood Marshall. He did the uh, yeah, Black Panther, which is the huge thing. Affinity Wars, both of – like, man, that dude's legacy is crazy. Yeah. For short, iconic, short of- yeah. iconic roles. Yeah, man. Like, literally. I had to say, yo, mm-hmm. like the dude did a lot with so much on his shoulders. I mean, his cast, his his crew, his friend, like even even his friends, they didn't nobody knew outside of his immediate family. Yeah. Like the guy was very clever and he, even 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 sharing the sharing to the world that he was married with his wife on, on winning one award. He said, You by my side all the time. The, the, the cleverness in and how he was able to keep his life private and still do everything as a celebrity, as a public figure, and still go out knowing that he his time is limited and do all these movies, do everything yeah. as if nothing was wrong, yeah. and have his his come 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 um uh, comrades give him boast about how hard he works, boast about how good his acting was, how he was an uh, upstanding person. Like, no matter what, like, everybody who's worked with him, who did a movie with him, yeah. all they have is nothing but yeah. high regards, Not, high regards. respect for him. So it's like, 
the guy did all that with with knowing that he his time was going going to be cut short, and still went to to the cancer place and gave us all yeah. to, to children. You know what I mean? In between of of working hard and making these iconic movies, he didn't just make yeah. movies; he made iconic movies. Jackie Robinson, Forty Two, James Brown, yeah. going up. Like, and you know, it's, you know what's twenty one know what's crazy? It, it, and then you find out that. Was it Denzel? Was it Denzel Washington? Denzel, yeah. Denzel Washington, yeah. Paid for him, and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Like, you don't, you, you really never know where, like, your act of kindness or where you feel led to do something or pay off something. Where that would, where that ends up. Like this dude, I'm sure when he did it, he probably was like helping out a fellow person that he saw promising, and this dude went on to do all this stuff, and you're like, wow, like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man. yo, Sh- Shaw Murder, yo. What was your personal favorite movie movie by uh, Chadwick Boseman? Do, is there a particular role or movie where you felt was his best work? I, I would say it's between. Uh, no, nah, I think it's hands down Black Panther. Black Panther. Forty two is the Black Panther. Panther. That that changed the culture. Let's keep it a hundred, Shaw. Let me know if you agree with me. Because, I mean, you know, up until a couple of years ago, superheroes, primarily white, primarily dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Supermans, Batmans, X-Men of the world. Yo, when they first announced that Black Panther was filming was going to be a thing, a lot of cats honestly probably slept on it. Like, yeah, Black Panther, whatever. Mind you, he's been a character for like 50 years, whatever, whatever. But when it came out, not only the quality of the movie, but yo, it was it was such a good movie. And what it did, it gave a whole generation of just minorities, like yo, this, this my is my hero. You know, this is your hero. This is yeah, my hero. Yeah. I mean, dude, you know? they, that was the 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 swell, the social swell, if that's the best way I can explain. Yeah. Around that movie was crazy. Like people were coming dressed up in like African garb like that like yeah. it, was, it was crazy there were people were taking the uh, kids um bus buses full of kids to see it yeah. because you've never you've never seen I mean you saw Blade so he's not but you this wasn't Blade like this dude was yeah. black royalty on screen yes the first time yeah. you've seen this kind of a movie be given that kind of a budget and Disney, if I remember, they didn't they didn't really want to give it that much money at first. No, they they had to fight to get that budget and the fight to get that movie made the way Coogler wanted to get it made, man, and it paid yeah. off. Like and it was it was Matt Smart releasing it during Black History Month. That's whoever, <laughs> yeah. that was genius. Absolutely. I said, oh, Shout the Disney Black marketing, marketing Month, department for that. <laughs> but it was <laughs> dope. It was dope. Yeah. You know what was genius it, it wasn't, though? It wasn't, you know what was genius about Black Panther though that everybody not, sleeps not, on. Black Panther, not. Black Panther showed the power of the dollar of the urban community. Yes. Because yeah. not, not only did Disney drop the ball by not having merchandise ready for Black Panther, everybody who saw the need for Black Panther to be fulfilled actually saw it go to the next level by other vendors putting out Black Panther shirts to fulfill that need. No matter how many times people saw the movie, people actually went to go see <laughs> something that could help them represent what the Black Panther was. Yeah. Shout out to little boys in the back. They're playing hey, the Black hey, Panther. Hey, we know what it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, 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 but the, the thing that really struck with the community was Black Panther even opened up the genre for us to see what other superheroes of color were out because that movie was that impactful. Yeah. So that movie just showed yeah. the power of not only our dollars, but our influence over the culture and redefining what the mainstream thinks our idea of culture is. Yeah. Yes. It, was the, yeah. it was the first time you seen on screen, not just black people, but black people in an excellence, black people with intelligence, black people with <clears throat> morals and standards that wasn't commonly seen on that type of grand scale. And it showed how influential, influential a movie like that on that level, on that platform can generate so much revenue. Like the hype of the movie, 
then it was the movie. Yeah. Then it was people, people's reaction that generated more revenue because it, it wasn't just like, oh, the movie came out. It was people doing it with their families. You know what I mean? It was it was something like very people took it very prideful to want to go see it. It was a cultural it was embraced. Yeah, it became a cultural yeah. phenomenon and people embraced yeah. that movie, man. And the thing was, yeah. it was a great movie. So yes. <laughs> it had yes. some yeah. really good roles yes. in it. Uh so that that made it even yeah. better. Like, you know, and you know what else stood out? And I know y'all as movie critics and movie heads. This was one of the first movies in a long time with powerful people of color in it that we didn't have to step and fetch it. We didn't have the ignorant Negro who just wanted to tell jokes and be the butt of the joke. We had royalty, we had camaraderie, we had politics, we had brotherhood, socialism, yeah. economics, and we had a serious tone with someone who you could respect rather than just being part of me, the nigger. You know what I'm saying? We had somebody who yeah. wasn't blackface. We actually had some something that was monumental to the yeah. point where after the movie a young man made a video and said to white america is this how you feel when your movies are over and he talked about him and how empowered he was to see someone who looked like him look positive that was like a kudos to ryan coogler and everybody behind that movie yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. let's keep it 100 not not only was it a different vision it was a vision of superiority like yes let, let's yeah. not get it twisted wakanda was the most advanced technical spot in the world. No, no, no. Yeah. So, that know, was. Because, it is. Because, yeah. Yeah. It. You know what I mean? Because what I'm saying is, like, you know, like, usually you think, like, yeah, you know, Africa, like, the narrative is, like, third world country, less techno. Like, the vision that he gave was, like, yo, we are the 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 apex of the top. So, you know what I mean? And, and, and during the course of all the Infinity War, like, they went to Wakanda for the battle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I just so dope. Like, what's dope is that uh, my, son, my son, my my son, Spanish cat, Black Panther is his favorite superhero. Mm. It's it goes beyond like uh even like race, like you know what I mean, like uh the vision the vision, my sister's the genius of uh Chadwick Bozeman, who played that movie to a T, like it just gave another vision where yo, kids are gonna grow up the next 20 years. Even with his passing, like yo, Black Panther, nah, yo, uh, what's his Superman? He I, but nah, Black Panther though. Yeah, and that's sure. powerful. That's just something that's powerful, you know, for the culture. But here's the question: What what do they do? I mean, yeah, no. Do, do they recast them? Do they move on? Like I personally think you got you have to recast them. You can't move on to any secondary Black Panthers. It's too early. Uh -huh. You only have one movie, especially if they're trying to bring Namor into a. Uh, the Marvel Universe, you gotta have one, black one thing. My bad. One thing I want to call attention to also uh -huh. is is uh Michael B. Jordan's character and how important that is. Yes, Killmonger. Yeah, you know yeah. because you have you have the 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 black people that are trying to heal the whole world, and you have the black people that are like, yo, the world's been whatever to us. Now let's let's give it. Yeah. Let's give back. Yeah, you know you had white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? Now Michael B. Jordan's like, yo, we could, we could, we could do that too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shot, yeah. You, bring up, you bring up a good point, Shot. I mean, well, the the genius of the movie was that not only did it give you an amazing hero, but even the villain, like he was the late. villain, yeah, late. yo, like he wasn't even all the way wrong. Like you know, like the average villain's like, yo, take over world, conquer. I want to, yo. But the, the genius of Black Panther was that the quote unquote villain was just the, the other side of the coin. Who's was like, he necessarily, he wasn't wrong. His methods, you might call into question, but mm -hmm. it was a powerful, the, the whole movie was just a powerful, uh, just conversation with Thanks. just, you know what I mean? The world, you know what I mean? I, I think that was, that's why Black Panther is just one of the movies because we an argument could be made that the villain wasn't really even a villain. Yeah. But see, that's the genius. That's the genius of Marvel where DC fails. DC has God complex. Marvel deals with human flaw. And this was Bro. the first movie where I seen, really, this was the first movie where I seen the conversation of race and culture from both sides of one community coming to a real serious pitch that wasn't comical. This was about, yeah. th this was really about 
we're, we're uh, it's not about. I would say this was a representation of a part of a culture that really comes into conversation a lot. Who are mm. we? What do we represent? How do we bridge gaps? Are we really as divided as people think? And it really started a talking point that I think led up to people taking what's going on in this world today more serious. I'm not saying mm. it's the calling, but it might have been part of the, the, the striking of the match that lit a lot of people's fervor for equality, justice, identity, and things of such. So I salute, like, again, the, the writing for that very much. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, Ken, it's also it's very, very complex. The, the complexity mm -hmm. of the story, because on, on, a, on, a, lot, on a, like a real high level, um, it talked all these, all, all, all the things you want socially, and then on a whole another level, it was still a comic book movie. It, like, it, it, brought every, it brought everything together. You know, it brought the realism, and then it brought the the fantasy that we all like to see of comic book movies and action and everything else like that. But it kept everything level. Like it didn't go too far, yeah. you know, comic book and it didn't get too serious where it was uninteresting. It just, it was, it was a perfect balance. I also, yeah. I also want to, um, I also want to discuss that this is not the first time that we've seen this type of theme in Marvel. Cause if you remember not too action. long ago, um, Professor X and uh, yes. Magneto. And, uh, Magneto. Right. You know, because Magneto, yeah. you know, he, he's, you know, basically Holocaust survivor, you know what I'm saying, who wants revenge for mm -hmm. the mistreatment of his people. Yeah. yeah. He's almost like an anti, as much as he's a villain, he's an anti-hero, which yep. is Michael B. Jordan's character. He wasn't all the way the bad guy. Like, a lot of stuff that he said was accurate. Very and that's the genius of the movie right there. I, I, I want to give a question. As a matter of fact, Shah, let me, let me holler at you real quick. So with the passing of uh, Chadwick Boseman, you know, they have to make a Black Panther part two. The money made too much. That movie made too much money. What do they do? I mean, mind you, you're not really a comic book fan. What do you think they do? Do they recast? Do they have his sister, Ashuri, take up the role? Like, wh wh what do you think? Where do they go from here? For part of my answer is dependent on if it's true what I heard that they were already filming for part two to begin with. Um, I mean, listen, Brandon Lee died in the middle of shooting for, I think, The Crow. You know what yeah. I mean? And they still managed to finish the movie. And he's not the first person that died while they were filming a movie. And, you know, they just needed to finish the movie somehow. They got CG, they, they, uh, CGI, I believe. They got, like, the technology to finish the movie. You know? the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, Paul Walker. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. Yo, so so dad, dad, the photographer. What do you think? Where do they go for here in regards to Black Panther two? What do you, if it was up to you, what would you do? Recast, recast them. Get somebody that uh, that the people will uh, get, behind. get behind. I mean, if you wanted to, like, I I wouldn't. If you took John David Washington and recast yes. him as Black Panther, yes. does anybody say mm. anything wrong? Wait, who? If you took, what's the dude? If you took, uh, oh boy, homeboy from um, Bird Box, the black dude who played in Bird Box, I can't Bird remember Box. his name. With um, he was with Sandra Bullock in that movie. He was like the yeah. he was like the main, the only black dude in the movie. He, or you know that the dude who played, I don't know if y'all watched the Watchmen series on HBO, the, the black guy who played Hood yeah. just like. The, there are options out there. My brother, he swear, he, his option was that they would pull Mahershala Ali off a of Blade and Whoa. have him Black Panther and then mm. recap Blade. So that I would think be ill. Nah. Yeah. There's tons of options. So I think they're going to recast. It's too much you know money. Who's a, you know who's a great up and coming Black actor? Uh, Lakeith Stanfield. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's very good. I don't know about Black Panther though. I feel like Yeah, I don't know about Black Panther. <laughs> I feel like there's, there's, he's more of an eclectic actor. Yeah. So I feel like there's other roles he'd be better. But I mean, you know, um Dave, Big A, how, how do you if it was up to you, Big A, what would you do? Because because mind you, and mind you, uh shout out to all my ladies out there tuned in right now. There a, a option that's been talked about is that Shuri, his sister from part one might take up the man on part two. What do you think about that? Do you think that's a good idea? Should they just recast? Like, what do you think, Big A? Well, first of all, I mean, honestly, 
it, it, it my, when 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 Chadwick passed away, it was a shock to, to hear it. Like, um, yes, was, Car- Rev and I was both talking, and I couldn't believe I couldn't believe my my eyes. Like, I was like, this got to be this can't be real. So, the the initial shock, and I'm I'm over here just because the initial shock is like, wow, what are you gonna do? Oh my God, I can't believe he died. Then it's like, okay, I started thinking about what, what you asked. Like, do they go with Shuri? Because according to the comic books. Shuri did become yeah. Black Panther, uh, pick up the Black Panther oh, wow. mantle as being the leader. But then also a part of the same story is Black Panther was still a prominent force because he became the king of the dead. So in saying that, and then also the, the plan uh-huh. of having Storm, uh, Storm being a part of the integration, it's like you need another actually re- replace re- reprise that role so when dad brought up my favorite my top um and it, and it brings everything full circle it, it would be crazy is, is john david washington who is denzel washington's son who's also has a, a great body of work um and and from shows like Ball, ballers which is an excellent show to also having movie roles as um uh, um uh, um what was the spike lee movie uh the, uh, the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, uh, Black Klansman. Black Klansman. He Black. did an excellent job in Black Klansman. Um, he also, oh wow, okay. He did an excellent job in Black Klansman. Then he also did. He's got a, a different movies that he's already done that's popping up. The, the new one is Tenet, which looks like a crazy movie. So he's he's got an eclectic genre background. Now, the, um, you like that, right? I threw that in there. An eclectic perspective. <laughs> An eclectic perspective. <laughs> I threw that in there, but uh, <laughs> same as plug with my brother there. But um, but you know, on, on the versatility side, I think he will be the forefront um candidate because he has that 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 um reprising role. Yeah. Okay. Yo, Ken, Heritage Hip Hop, Ken. Yo, you you uh, being what? a fellow uh, comic book head. What do you think they should do for Black Panther 2? Since Marvel has already started touching on multiverses, I think they should mm. ask them. Because um, we could have something where this character, they actually use old footage and give him a fitting death tribute. Yes. To lifting, lifting up the sister to show her strength. Yes. And then also bringing in another version of him from another universe that needs yes. help. Because in the, in the comic books, they also go to space. And he did with alternate realities. So yeah. he, he has Wakanda on Earth and Wakanda in space. Now, they don't have to take it too far, but by putting in another strong character, and that's really him, but they reintegrate the yeah. him into the role and don't Aunt Vivid. I mean, I think it would be really good. That, that, would be, that would be really um oh, oh, special. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, you know what I also thought it, the, as an alternate yeah. universe, and I, I know this is really far-fetched, far-fetched but if they even did, and uh, this is this is definitely this would be a shock to people. If Michael B. Jordan was Black Panther, and in, in the alternate universe because he's still alive, and it would it would throw off the people in this universe because you know when you go to comic books, you know different characters are di- different personas in different um different alternate universe. I'm so it would, it would it would it would he's still alive. He's already a well rounded actor. You could bring him in. And it would be a different leader and if you could rep- rep- reprise that type of mentality where it's not Killmonger. Now, in this universe, you yeah. have this guy as the leader. Uh-oh. You're right back, though. I feel what you guys are saying. What, what I think... Um, I think for part two, because in my Black Panther, when he's in costume, you don't really see, you know, you really don't see his face. So I think part two, they kind of, uh, in between, like, utilizing that, uh, have Shuri play a role. But uh, what I think uh, they should do, now, mind you, you got Captain America, you got Iron Man, you got a lot of uh, old actors who are retiring, and, you know, they need young actors. So I think maybe like a Doctor Strange, like maybe even a Secret Wars, where they could touch on the multiverse. I think they find like one of the previous movies, they have some type of event where you can kind of 
grab people from different multiverses or whatever, kind of bring them into the mix, make, then you can kind of recast Black Panther and it makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was just my thoughts on it. Because, you know what I mean? You know, like, you got to do, you know, like, one, one thing, shout out to Marvel. Like, Marvel will kind of, uh, what they'll do is they'll, they'll build upon each movie. Like, they'll make it organic. So they won't just throw something out the mix like, hey, I'm Black Panther. Like, they'll have a storyline where it kind of makes sense. And I think, uh, 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 you know, because let's face it, Iron Man, like, the Avengers, that's a multi-billion dollar franchise right there. You got to keep that going. You can't not have Iron Man. You can't not have Captain America. You can't but they not are. Have they're not, they're going to move off. They're going to move away from them. Like, that's why they're trying to they're, them t- you got Doctor Strange, you have Ant Man. Mm-hmm. You still, well, oh. you, you got, you still, oh. you still have Black Panther, and yeah. you still have a uh, Captain Shang Chi, Shang Chi, Shang Chi. For now, for now, but long term, <laughs> you always got. to, I mean, Marvel, like the, you know, I hate to say it, but like the Avengers is like the apex of Marvel. So at some point, they're gonna want to recast. So yeah, you got to have another gonna, Avengers movie at some point. Huh? You got to have another Avengers movie at some point. You you got to. So I think what they're going to do is like, mind you, remember, uh, Doctor Strange's movie is called The Multiverse of whatever. That's where they're bringing the multiverse in. So that's that's what they already said. I I think they're going to find a way to kind of like have repercussions from one movie affect everything where they can bring in new characters, new new, new actors. And I think that'd be perfect for Black Panther. I think the rumor was that in that movie is that's when they would bring over the X Men. That's yeah. when they would get the X Men in uh in that multiverse movie in some way. Spider Man mm-hmm. also. Yeah. Spider Man, that's the thing. Spider Man is still Sony. So yeah, yeah that's why they we casted their own Spider Man for Toby. You know they don't like Adam that. So I, I think to be in it. Rumor wise, we don't know. Oh, were? Oh. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. want to have their own version. Yeah. So they could, um, yeah, the, the rumor was they were gonna bring all the Spider Man, all the all the actors that played Spider Man previously, Spider bring them bring them into the into Spider-verse. that movie. So then Sony could take their Spider Man that they have and kind of continue building on their Spider Verse and mm-hmm. kind of like leave Tom Holland like uh, with, with the Marvel. <laughs> Interesting. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, the only Ooh. viable one is Andrew Garfield, and I don't even know if he's how like. I don't even. I haven't seen him in anything lately. No, nah, yeah, you haven't seen him in many movies since that the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Two. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, big, I, I, I never. Big I like this Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I actually liked him in that movie. I felt he had too much swag for awesome. Peter Parker. I think they went. They went more of an alternative Peter Parker, like yeah. more of a. They just upgraded him as a nerd because you know the nerd nerd cool. back then. Is different than yeah. He's like even the nerds now are kind of like you know uh, Donald Glover nerds. They're like yeah, they're he's like bagging chicks. So I'm like okay, all right, I, I feel it, but you know what I mean? Yeah, you know. yeah. But I like that. Mm-hmm. But yo, shout out to everybody tuned in right now. The recap with the good fellas. We've been talking about the legacy of Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther, and all that. We appreciate you guys tuned in right now, and we got to let you know before we go any further. This is brought to you by AEP Media and a collective perspective media. Shout out to my man, Dad, the photographer. Man, yo, holla at Let them know why they need to be in this Facebook group that you got going on ASAP. Because, yo, you're doing some big things over there. Listen, man, <laughs> AEP presents First Thoughts. That's the Facebook group. And y'all need to be in that group because we're talking about things like this, man. We having little, we having Best Buy eliminations, man. We talking villains. We talking. <laughs> Brackets. Right. We, you talking politics, sports, anything in there? Anything goes, man. It's a, it's a, it's a nice spot to be, and be free. Check have fun. Out, man. Yo, if a movie comes out in Alaska or Siberia, my man's got a review on that. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, yeah. You know, he yeah. got it before the movie come out. Word, yeah. you know what I mean. Also, shout we can't rumors, go man. any further without shout out. First of all. Shout out to Heritage Hip Hop, man. If y'all not on this site right now as we speak, it's all right. Like I said, you should be tuned into the recap show with the good fellas. But y'all need to be on heritagehiphop.com right now, checking out that real hip hop shit. Yo, Ken, highlight them. 
Let yeah. them know what you got going on. You just had the awards this weekend. Let them know. Let them know what, what's up with Heritage Hip Hop. For everybody who don't know out there. Heritage Hip Hop represents the heritage of hip hop, which is you, the fan, the culture, the artist, the entrepreneur, everything. We're not just music. We're more than music. And if you want to see that, go to heritagehiphop.com. You can subscribe to Heritage Hip Hop on all social medias. Check out our link tree where you can see the link to the 2020 Heritage Hip Hop Awards. Uh -oh. Certain people got one of these right here. Right. And, and not only that, we have a tribute to Chadwick Boseman on our blog section of our website. So please visit heritagehiphop.com. Check out our podcast on heritagehiphop.com and Heritage Hip Hop on YouTube. Word. Yeah. And of course, it's also, also brought to you by GoodfellasTV.com. All the latest music, news, culture, Goodfellas is here bringing it to you. Shout out to y'all right now, GoodfellasTV.com. Need I say more? I don't think so. Shout out to everybody tuned in right now. We appreciate you watching us. The recap, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, however you watch it right now, we appreciate y'all. We've been talking about the legacy of Bozeman, Chadwick, Chadwick Bozeman. You know what I mean? Black Panther, Wakanda Forever and all that. Anything you guys want to talk about, any comments, any suggestions, anything, make sure you hit us up on any of the social media, any of the email, any of the websites we've just given you. And like I said, man, let's wrap this up. We got more on the way on behalf of the good fellas. Guys, just throw your social media out there real quick before we bounce. You, Dav, the photographer, IG, D-A-V underscore A-E-P. Get at me. Correct. Um, Heritage Hip Hop says it all. Heritage Hip Hop. Salute. Sean Montana, what up? Yo, my uh, Instagram is G O T H Y Q. All right. The man, the myth, the legend, Big A. What's up? Holla at him. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Big A. You can check me out at Adiar. It's A H D A Y A R. That's A H D A Y A R on all social media platforms. You'll see me, holla at me, and I'm there. Remember, goodfellastv.com, goodfellastv.com. And it's your boy, Tommy Guns. You can hit me up at DJ Tommy Guns on social media. When we come back, keeping it in the Disney frame of things, we got to talk about the Star Wars situation. My man, Dad, the photographer, yo, he got some questions about something that came out recently in the news. We're going to holler at you about this in a few minutes. The recap with the good fellas. We'll see you in a minute.